Hello financial fans, this is uh, what Wednesday I guess and uh, so far for this year, this is January something or other right now, 25 I think, is it January 25th, take a quick look at my calendar, here January 26th of uh, 2022. So, uh, and it's a good day to forget, so that's all right. Um, what I will do is tell you that this year, thus far, I've lost value, not money, I lost value of about 6% of my holdings. The S&P 500 is uh, doing much better than I am. It has lost about 1.5% uh, of its value so far this year. And for today, let me get my reading glasses. By the way, these are my reading glasses. I got some green uh, frames here, and that way that'll scare the green ink out of uh, the system. Maybe and we'll get to some profits. But anyway, buying reading glasses, and they put a tag on the reading. This was on the reading glasses when I bought them. Now, how am I supposed to read if I need reading glasses? How am I supposed to read that bottom line, or how am I supposed to read? what's written on the back. That's small print. You need the Hubble telescope to buy reading glasses now. What I'm going to do is talk about all of my stocks, uh, and I don't know how many I've got offhand, between 60 and 70, I think. Uh, maybe I'll check them out later and put the number up uh, in the video. I have a lot of stocks. I'm well diversified. And I've sold some stocks this year. I sold Tesla uh, at a nice profit. I sold Intel at a nice profit. Intel is INTC. Tesla is TSLA. They both have gone down since I sold them. So I sold at a good time, perhaps. We shall see as time goes by. And this year uh, is shaping up to be a roller coaster of a ride for the stock market for many reasons. There's a lot of things that could pull the market down and one thing at the end of the year, November, the elections, that could bring the market up uh, or could bring the market down depending on what happens. That's a long way away. And we have the Russia-Ukraine um, situation going on right now. Hopefully it won't lead to any uh, gunfire or casualties. And we also have other things that are in the mix. The raising of interest rates is the thing that would grab the attention of all things that are related to the stock market. And uh, we got past that today in March, probably they'll raise interest rates for the first time and who knows how much, a quarter percent, a half percent. But uh, anyway, what I'm going to do, I mention each stock that I own and whether it's up or down and so on. And I don't have an actual uh, total portfolio percentage wise because I bought all my stocks at different times. And we shall begin with AGNC, which is an ETF, exchange traded fund, AGNC. Uh, I am holding on to that. It's down 12.7%. Is that uh, correct? 12.77% since I bought it. Amazon, AMZN is up since I bought it. It's up 6% since I bought it. ARCC is up 10.71% since I bought it. Uh, now, the ARK ETFs, exchange traded funds, the ones that begin with ARK, such as um, ARKF, I guess is the first one, yeah, ARKF, they're all down since I bought them. And last year, these were the stellar performers. These were the ones that went up double in price. So you can't always bet that uh, last year's heroes will be this year's heroes. They might turn out to be villains. But ARKF is down 44%. ARKG is down 40.8%. Uh, ARKK is down 45%. Um, there's a trend there, isn't there? ARKQ is down 23%. Um, ARKW is down 39%. And ARKX 
is down 21%. But I'm going to hang on to the, these. These could become big in years to come. And they could be very big. They're uh, maverick type stocks. And um, next we go to, did I say ARK? X, which is 21% down, okay, then B, E, T, Z, let's see if I can uh, see where that is, uh, down 27, uh, maybe 28%, um, B, I, D, U is down 20, I can't make this out here, B, I, D, U is down 21 and a quarter percent, um, B, I, G, Big Lots, is it the next one? Yep. And that's down 22.22%. And B, N, G, O is down 60%, almost 61%. B, P, B, P is an oil stock, good place to be, and it pays good dividends. And I've had it for a long time, and it went way down, and now it's proceeding to go back up, but um, BP is, where's the line here, right there, 30%, uh, up 30%, uh, BTI is up 11.45%, um, let me do this, OBTI was the last one I gave and slide the cursor down here a little bit. Um, where's the best value? Big Bing VP B8. Yeah, okay. C is next. Citigroup. Citigroup is up 3.77% since I bought it. CAG uh, ConAgra is up 4% since I bought it. Uh, CHY. Today's CHY was down seven cents to thirteen dollars eighty-five cents a share. CHY, it's one of my stellar performers, one of the best performers I have percentage-wise. It pays a high dividend. I won't look to see how much right now, but CHY is up twenty-four and three quarters percent as of right now, and. Uh, Next is CIG, and that's up 5%. Then CIM is up 15%, and DHT, did I say up 15%? Uh, CIM is down 15%. Um, DHT is down 6%. And uh, DOW, Dow, I bought that not too long ago, it's up 3%. 3%? That's the same. Oops, 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 oops. Watch what I'm doing here. 7%, 7.63% uh, for, uh, is that Dow? Yeah, 7.63%. And here's one that's down 12%, and that is DRIV. It's electric vehicle stock. Electric vehicles were hammered today and so far this year and uh, I think they'll have smoother sailing ahead. EPD is up 7%. FB, Facebook, uh, Meta Platforms, whatever it's called, 60% increase in value since I bought it. FRO is down 11, almost 12%. GILD Gilead is down 19% since I bought it. GM General Motors is up 4.7% since I bought it. Hale, that's another electric vehicle stock, H A I L, it was down a little bit today and it's down 25% since I bought it. K A R S, cars, electric vehicle stock or a vehicle stock of some sort, they might make parts for electric vehicles, uh, down 21% since I bought it. LCID, LCID, electric vehicle stock, um, it's been uh, 
driven down a lot so far this year. Uh, LCID is now at $33.90 a share. It was down $1.56 today, LCID. But for me, it is up 53% since I bought it. That means I got in early. LIT is next, and it is down 17% since I bought it. MBT is down 20% since I bought it. MFC is up about 5% since I bought it. MO I've had for a long time gives good dividend, 32.9% up since I bought it. And MRK Merck, that's one of the pharmaceutical companies, that's up 6.7% since I bought it. NIO, N-I-O, electric vehicle stock, I think that one's going to uh, do well. It might take uh, two months for it to get its nose back up into the green, but NIO right now is down 31% since I bought it. NLY, high dividend stock, it was up a penny today. It's down 8% since, uh, since I bought it. NVS, it's Novartis, uh, NVS is up two and three quarters percent since I bought it. OGN is down 17 percent since I bought it. Uh, OMF is down seven and a half percent since I bought it. Um, where were we? OMF. PBR, this is uh, one I purchased recently. Let's see where it is. PBR is up 19% since I bought it. And uh, I've probably got uh, about 5% of my portfolio now. I don't know for sure. I'll have to check. And uh, PGR. PGR is up 24% since I bought it. PM. PM high dividend paying stock. 16. 16.9, maybe 17% up since I bought it. Print, P-R-N-T, that's 3D printing. P-R-N-T, since I bought it, is down 25%. Qcom, Q-C-O-M, Qualcomm, uh, it was up $2.95 today, which is a good upward move for that stock, and it's up 25% since I bought it. RTX Raytheon down a dollar thirty-three today. That actually should be up. That's a defense issue, and with the uh, situation between Russia and Ukraine, that uh, probably will move higher. It's up twenty-three percent since I bought it. SBSW up nine cents today, and it's down fifteen percent since I bought it. SID a dime today and down about 10% since I bought it. Move this up here a little bit. SMFG is up 5.5% since I bought it. SPY, now this uh, is an exchange traded fund. SPY follows the S&P 500, so I know it's up since I bought it. It's up 0.33%. Where is it here? The screen is changing on me. Where is it? SPY, there it is. Up, now it's up 0.4. Up 0.4% since I bought it. And Sun, which is uh, an oil stock, that'll do well. But by the way, SPY today was up $1.31, which was a good move for them. SUN. Sunoco uh, doesn't trade a lot of shares, but it was up 98 cents today and closed at $43.90, I guess. And it's up 53% since I bought it and it pays a high dividend. So you might want to put that one down as one to look into. TEF, down a nickel today and down about 10% since I bought it. TTOO, T2. Um, 
down teensy weensy bit today and down 61% since I bought it. And UFO, UFO space technology stock. It's down 20% since I bought it. UMC is down 16% since I bought it. Vale, uh, Vale, whatever it's called, it's the uh, natural resources stock V A L E, and I've got a lot of that. It was up seven cents today, and it's down five and three quarters percent. V E V electric vehicles up fifteen cents today, and it's down about twenty five percent since I bought it. V I A C Viacom lost ninety one cents today. How can it do that? It's down four and slightly over 4% since I bought it. A little bit further. VNQ is down $1.64 today and it's uh, down almost 1% since I bought it. VOO, that also tracks the S&P 500. Vanguard's VOO exchange traded fund up $1.33 today. And uh, down, uh, no, it's up about a half a percent since I bought it. VTI uh, is down a little over two percent since I bought it. VTRS is up one and a quarter percent since I bought it. VZ Verizon is down about ten percent since I bought it. Workhorse WKHS electric vehicles trucks is up 13 cents today at uh, $3.19 a share, a very low cost stock and I have very little of it, but it's down 86% since I bought it. So it's the worst performer this time in my stocks as far as percentage wise. X is Xerox, lost 26 cents today, it's down 22%. Uh, XOM. Exxon Mobil, that's an oil company stock, high dividend, and uh, it is down since I bought it, I bought it years ago, 8.21%. And XRX Xerox it was up 13 cents today, and it's up 0.3% since I bought it. So, uh, with all that in mind, my plan is to hold on to stocks that I don't buy derivatives, I don't buy uh, options and puts and calls and all that. Some people can uh, make money with those, some people can make money uh, playing blackjack in Las Vegas. Uh, I, I don't understand it or follow the numbers closely. I had a friend who wrote a book uh, about playing uh, blackjack. Uh, you might look it up. Um, his name is Munchkin, M-U-N-C-H-K-I-N. And he also produced some movies, believe it or not. Um, but what he could do playing blackjack was he could make a living at it, and I can't. And the same might, it might be true of people who trade options and puts and calls and all that. Uh, they would probably show you how to trade options and let you spend a weekend with them watching the market, and you'd see them making lots of money, and you'd be tempted to get in, and you'd try it. and you wouldn't have the same results that's, or like if Tiger Woods is teaching you how to play golf. He could teach you, he could show you, he could do it. But when you try it, or when I try it, and I'm not going to try it. So anyway, my point is I buy stocks. I own stocks. I sell stocks. I try to buy low, sell high. And if the market goes down like it is right now, it just goes down. I'm not going to go down and uh, weep and worry about it. It'll come back up. It's going to come back up. I have no idea when. Uh, I'll say by the end of December I'll probably have an up year. And there will be all kinds of things that will happen between now and then. And hopefully all of it is good for you and for me and for uh, all investors who um, are sensible and intelligent like we are. So with that in mind, I will thank you very much for watching and uh, 
Stay safe out there and keep your money safe. Thank you for watching.